Hi, every <clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie from Scrap Doll 7 Creations, and today I wanted to come share my projects for um, this week's Saturday morning makes, okay? Um, they're also going to be um, something I'm going to sell in my um, craft fair, <laughs> okay? Um, so yeah, let me get started. So um, I had bought these little memo pads from Dollar Tree, um, and I thought, well, these would be kind of cute to, uh, you know, decorate and, um, put, you know, sell in my craft fair. Um, so I just used some, like, scrap pieces of, you know, paper that I had um, and these little cutouts from, um, you know, various paper pads and things like that. Um, that I thought, well, let, you know, these would be cute to use the cut aparts because, you know, the cut aparts, um, you know are the right size um, for projects like this. Okay, so um, these are just some of the leftover um, cut up hearts that I didn't use yet. Um, and I can't remember um, which paper pad they came from. Um, I got stuff all over the place, but it really doesn't matter because you can use whatever cut up hearts you have. Um, so let me get started by sharing you, um, you know, my, the paper pads, okay? All right, so I basically just took, oh, and I also used, <laughs> hold on guys, I also used some laces from my stash, um, and I also had these um, gingerbreads. Now, I've had this for years. I mean, this, is, this has been in my stash for quite some time. These are Martha Stewart, um, yeah. I got I'd gotten these at Michael's for four. So what does it say? Um, four ninety nine. They're, um, yeah, they're adhesive borders. Um, but I didn't even realize they were stickers. I guess they're stickers. I didn't even realize it. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I I cut them apart to use for this um, project, and these are like so cute to you know to use for like little like littler things. Um, also comes with some snowflakes. Um, but I use those, okay? So this is the first one that I used, or that I made, okay? Um, you know, sweet holiday wishes. And they're, you know, they're just, you know, paper pads, you know? So, you know, you know, people wanna use them as like a, um, you know, for Christmas, like for gift giving. Um, or, um, you know, just to put down like your, you know, what you're getting for everybody, you know, for Christmas to keep track. Um, I also did the back. I papered the back. Um, yeah, I mean, that, you know, didn't take too long to put together here. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, and this here's the next one. And again, I just used um, scraps that I had in my stash to cover the covers um see gingerbread baking company cookies and milk made with love okay and i just added this lace on the top and bottom and again i covered the back and just left it plain okay so there's that one uh, then i used this one or i made this one <laughs> and again i added the lace on the top of the bottom um, I added the two little gingerbreads, sweetest holiday wishes. Um, and then on the back, I didn't have any more of the, um, black and red checked, um, but I did have a piece of this. So I just put this on the back. Okay. So that's that one. Okay. And then I made this one. All you need is love and Christmas cookies. Okay, so this is like a green plaid. Thought it went well with the green um, cut out. And then on the back, I just um, had this extra piece of paper. Um, so I thought that matched the green pretty well. So I had that a uh, scrap piece. So I used that for the back. Okay, and then I have this one. Recipe for Merry Christmas. A dash of joy, a touch of peace, add a pinch of magic, stir with hope. Sprinkle with wonder and love. So again, I added this, this kind of lace for this one. 
um, for the top and the bottom. And then I just um, had this extra piece that I just put on the back. It doesn't have to match, you know. Um, yeah. And then I also had, I made this one. This was a different um, paper pad. This uh, was from the, oh, I think it's from Photoplay. Um, no, I don't have it with me. Um, I don't know what I did with it. Um, but I thought this cutout was super cute. You know, Santa and Mrs. Claus, he's eating cookies. So official cookie tester. So that was like a sticker from the um, collection. A little glue stick there. Or glue thing I got to get off. Um, uh, yeah, and then I just added these little stickers in the corner. And then I just papered the back here. So that is that one. Yeah, so like I said, it didn't take too long and I didn't, honestly, I just, I, I, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to work on today. Um, and I had a couple ideas and some of them are a little bit more involved and I, I just, I'm very tired from the work week. Um, oh, yesterday we had fall fest outside. It was just very, it was exhausting <laughs> with the kids. So, um, I, I just didn't have the energy this morning to, you know, get into something really, really involved, like painting or anything like that. I just, like, I need something, I need something simple. Um, and I'll probably work on some more of the, my tea. I'm making these little um, tea favors for um, Christmas tea. Um, and I started that, so I might continue working on that um, also today. Um, I might alter a couple more notebooks. I don't know, we'll see but something that's not too involved. Um, yeah, so I'm wondering like how much I should charge for these. Um, I mean, the, the, these paper pads themselves were $1.25 from Dollar Tree, um, you know, and add the, you know, the price of the, you know, little cutouts and the lace and things. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe $4? I don't know, four dollars, five dollars. I don't know. I don't want to overprice them, but I don't want to underprice them. Um, you know, maybe two for six. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, tell me what you think, guys. Um, tell me how much you think I should charge for, um, for the pads. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So I will, uh, thanks for watching guys. And, um, you know, I'll be back, um, with my next, um, project. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.